morning guys welcome back to the vlog it is looking a little slippery today definitely not gonna have a white christmas this year you guys hi penny the barn be actually smelling like a barn today that's what happens when i leave sam to it for two days oh my goodness gotta be already be working all right i got all the stuff i have to leave some of penny supplements in the house and bring them down in the morning because they freeze. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's Monday, T minus three days until Christmas Eve when we do our celebration. So uh, this morning Sophie was complaining to me that she kindly asked Gabby to move and Gabby didn't move. You guys all know, uh oh, can you close that door for me? You guys all know those rude mean people that are just rude, like, and so people was oh. saying like, I was so kind. Why can't she just listen to me? And you know what I say to that? Keep being kind, sisters. Keep being kind. Because who's she karma? Whose negative karma is, is it if you're not kind? Not yours. Still keep being kind. You like it. Okay, whose side am I putting it in? Hold on. Hold on. Don't even have to put on her. Oh, oh. Oh, too much. Too fast. Uh-oh. No, she's not giving me that. Give it back. Oh, darn. I got it all up my arm. That did not go well. I need to figure out. I know you have to do shoot it in her cheek, but for some reason, it, she needs it slower. We've all encountered those girls, those people that look angry all the time, or those people that look upset from your happiness. Like when you walk into a room and you're bubbly and happy and friendly, and they're like... Some people refer to them as the mean girl. Some people refer to them as the click, where you have to act a certain way to be accepted. Yeah, I know all about clicks, you guys. When I was younger, and especially when I was at work, I knew how to fit into a click perfectly. There were times when I would go to work and I would be in a click and I would come home and want to peel my skin off. It made me feel so bad, it made my spirit feel so bad. So I know all about that stuff. All I can say is this. Be respectful of other people's feelings. If other people can't handle your enthusiasm and your excitement in life, then that is okay. Just leave it to them. Be, be respectful. Tone it down when you're with them if you need to, but don't change who you are. Still be happy. What kind of karma are you gonna get in your life? Um, by maintaining your happiness. Good ones. Yeah. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with Gabby or that she was being mean. She said Sophie wasn't nice to her at first either. Do you remember that time we cleaned Fiona's barn and there was a, ha a, store, a, there was a horse on stall rest? And we put the wheelbarrow in the doorway. I think Fiona told us to do that. And then the horse jumped the wheelbarrow. Journey was not on stall rest. Oh, there was a horse. Was it Journey? Yeah. He was in the stall. Who remembers that? Me. And oftentimes the person that's kind of grouchy is dealing with things on their own end. Like not having breakfast. Sometimes we're grouchier when we haven't had breakfast yet. Watch out, Molly. Happen. Oh, you needed a brush. You needed a brush. You weren't even gonna say hi. See, sometimes, sometimes the karma belongs to the other person. Didn't even say hi. Took me a lot of years to figure that one out, to just be yourself. Don't change who you are, still be kind, still be happy. Tone it down if other people are bothered by your, your happiness. Sometimes, unfortunately, your happiness can intensify the fact that other people are not happy and it's hard for them. So I've learned to just be sensitive to other people's emotions, but maintain my own integrity and maintain my own joy and happiness inside myself. You can do it. You can honestly do it. Just be happy. Choose happiness. All right, so we're pretty much done with chores today. Um, so you guys know that we have worked through a Penny's pain issues. We're working through her eye issue. I'm going to message the vet today. Tell him let's move on to plan B. Come on, Molly. Move on to plan B, which is to put ointment in her eye. So we're gonna. I'm going to message him. So the next thing that I want to address with Penny, I'm hoping it... It continues to improve. I think she's getting more friendly with the pony, slow and steady, but she kissed her. One thing that she still really struggles with is relationship. She still struggles with trust issues, but she's getting better. But the relationship with her fellow horses, 
that is a big deal and it in interferes with when you go trail riding like Penny wants to be in the front and I want her to like be able to go on a trail and be relaxed and be able to go and she can go in the middle and she can go in the back under certain circumstances like we took Gracie a few times but there's something happens and it triggers her to be scared and I know horses are flight animals and I it all makes sense and she takes it to a whole new level a whole new level I know why why because if there's something behind her that's gonna attack they attack the other horses first. I know but <laughs> I did. she's a smart girl is that what you would do yeah. I'd be at the back, sister. <laughs> Just joking. To be honest, I'd be exactly like Penny. I'd be in front of all of them. I'd be like, I'm leaving! So yeah, maybe you hit it on the head, Sophie. Maybe I need to like, I don't know, maybe it'll work itself out with the liver cleanse. Oh, We're gonna see. Oh. We're back at the house. Um, this is why winter is really hard in Canada. This is why I want to move to Florida. It's so dark out, you guys. It is 11 a.m. and I have to have all the lights on it just to be able to see each other in the house. I know. The girls are chilling, watching movies, which we don't normally do, but it's Christmas holidays. So what do you do on Christmas holidays? Sit around not and watch cool. movies. When you sit around, you tend to not want to get up and eat, so you get skinnier. Oh, I love that idea. Also, we ride horses, and we're going to go do that. Sophie, on the other hand, doesn't just sit around doing nothing. She made, for her very first time, what would you make, Sophie? Caramel popcorn. Caramel oh, popcorn. I think it's really good. She did such a good oh, job. No. You were upset this morning when Gabby wasn't nice to you and all she did was ask. And now all she did was ask you how to make it. And you were mean so, to her. You put lots of butter. I had to use lots of butter. Um, you, well, you microwave your popcorn too. Um, you put brown sugar in it, but I used the golden yellow sugar. Um, you last, uh, once the popcorn is done. And that's like all not thick, like it is now, because it hardens. Um, you put it in the in the popcorn. And Why don't you look up a recipe? No, she'll just tell me. Come on, Mia. She's me. She's like, come and help me cook. Oh, it is chilly. I know you guys are taking count of how many times I say it's cold outside. It's actually one degree above zero. One degree Celsius above zero. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. What is it in Fahrenheit? cold but not too cold actually it's not that cold it's just that it's rainy and rain and wet makes you feel colder than normal plus sitting in a freezing cold car but anyway we are headed off to the barn the girls are down throwing hay for our beautiful princesses I have been wanting to ride outside with Penny lately but um, the ground is really uneven and really rock hard waiting for like a nice amazing amount of snow and then I'm gonna try riding her in the snow you guys I wanna learn how to I wanna learn how to ride her like the Pasofinos go. I wanna learn to take her out and do things with her. The reason I get nervous riding her at home with snow on the ground is because I don't know where like any of the little holes are, the little pot holes and stuff. Like it makes me nervous. But I'm gonna do it anyway because that is how I roll and I'm excited. Somebody sent me a message today saying that they were losing all their confidence and then they go home after not riding and they would feel so bad i've been there since when i feel bad because i was too scared to do something let me tell you i get so mad at myself that i'm like i will do it even if it means i have to bring a friend with me i have to go drag my coach over and say you have to come to my house because i need your help right now uh, get gabby to help me no matter what it is that i need to help me get past that i will do it because horses are worth it and getting past your fear is worth it anyway I wanted to do a big shout out to Katie Johnson Katie I want you to know that I see you I see you all the time on our channel I recognize you I recognize you as a friend your comments are always kind always supportive always loving and I love having you as a part of our day fam I'm not joking I'm not just saying that to be nice I love when I notice people and they stand out and they become part of my heart you are part of my heart along with all the other people I've mentioned and so many more of you that I haven't mentioned um I suck at shout outs but I'm trying you guys I'm trying so thank you so much Katie for being a part of us I hope you never leave do you have a warm coat huh do you have a warm coat yeah it's at the barn you forgot your coat at the bar and Gabby That's be wearing I two and it was hot. Gabby be wearing her Christmas colors. Where's your sister? Peeing. Peeing at the barn? Gosh. That's one thing I would never do. Look at this. Do you guys know what it is? Gabby made this at horse camp. I keep forgetting to bring There's it in. There's a better one. I love this thing. I made two. There's a better one. 
This is a better one. I love this. This is a little piece of wood made into a coaster. I'm gonna bring it inside. This is our lucky number Not seven. Our lucky number seven, also known as Storm's marking, face marking. We got really lucky with his face marking. I cleaned the car this morning a little, and the girls be freaking out. Sophie be freaking out. I put it all on her chair like a good parent. Uh, I told them they have to take all that stuff inside before we can go. And I'm going to take that opportunity to tell you that I got a message from Nightwatch, the smart halter company, today. And they offered me a discount code for you guys. So if any of you guys are interested in getting your own smart halter, I'm in love with it. I'm going to try this week taking it, or next week, taking it to the barn and putting it on Storm and see what he gets up to in a day. It'll tell us how much ground he travels each day and I'm really excited to know that. It will tell us what his heart rate does every time he gets into a scuffle with another horse. I'm excited to try it. If you guys want to try it, use the code day by day for 10% off. Gabby dressed in her Christmas colors. Sophie dressed in black. And burgundy. And burgundy. What color salad are you wearing? Let me just white. Pink. Burgundy and That's pink. reverse. Ooh. No, I like it. Reverse psychology, you guys. What color saddle pad are you wearing, Gabby? Let me guess. Green? No. Uh, navy? No. Nope. White? Yes. All right. Well, I need you to walk with me. You need me to walk with you? I hope I don't get rain in my camera. I'm screaming at the girls in the barn. I'm like, wait for me! <laughs> Jeepers! And then there's a girl in there. I hate when that happens. Where are we going? Yeah, we so wanted. Kaylee's horse is here. Wait, is that essentially every horse but ours and Kaylee's that are here? <laughs> Can you guys see it? Do you see it? Hiding on us. Oh gosh. Yep. I see Tex over there. Oh my god, it's cold. Arguing. It's been running away. Oh, and there it has happened. I feel like it's been actually running away. Yeah, he's walking away. Oh, yep, yeah, it's happening. Thinks trees are gonna save him, just like you want. Yeah, he thinks tree, trees are gonna save him. He's like, run! Guys, run! She's coming for me! Gabby's not very happy. We got Chino and Storm over here. They're the only ones. All this hay, just for them. It's funny, it's nice and mild out. And all the horses are at the other place, except for ours, all of ours. I feel like that. I feel like they're not truly accepted into the herd yet, you know. Hi, guys. How's your neck feeling? How's your neck feeling? Oh, it's nice. We have them doubled up, though. Oh, all right. <laughs> Storm. <laughs> we know where your hair has been buried, where your head's been buried. Storm, Storm would be loving his chino. They're friends now, you guys. They're so one of the things, big things I've learned over the course of my equine journey is the benefit of supplements and keeping your horse in balance. See, you think I? The ones always small. I don't have any treats. Mom, the older ones always small. Oh, your neck is getting skinny. All right, come on, let's go. Hurry up. Come on. Storm. Storm. Chino's gonna follow us. What do you think the chances are Chino's gonna follow us? But I love that our, our, like our horses are actually a part of a herd. I feel like for the first time since we bought them, the smaller, like a smaller herd within the herd, if that makes sense. Like our horses and Kaylee's horses are all best friends. I love that. Sheena's not following us. He's like, you are not as important as this food. So. Uh, our horses and Kaylee's horses and then there's a few within the main herd that all that will hang out with our horses So on the news today Our government said they're shutting down Everything again, we're going back into lockdown after Christmas the government after Christmas Eve is going to be shutting everything down again So when we come to the barn, we won't be allowed to be here ever with anybody else here But that did not happen that does not happen until after Christmas Eve and guess what you guys we met somebody new at the barn This is who are you? Reese. This is Reese. How old are you Reese? I'm 11. You're wow. You seem older. You're like Gabby. You seem older than 11. I was admiring your boots Did you hear me screaming at the girls when we came in? No Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, we just came, I screamed at the girls, and then there's a girl in there. <laughs> anyway, this is Reese, and she watches our videos, um, or she has seen our videos, and she's here at the barn today, you're just grooming? Yeah. Just grooming, well maybe one day you'll be right, maybe one day we can get together and ride, but not for a while, because we're getting shut down again. What do you think of that? 
I want to go back to school. I know, they all want to go back to school. So many people want to go back to school. Anyway, meet Reese, you guys. I almost feel like um, Finn could use some of the magnesium, but Finn doesn't do good on magnesium. Finn's a weird duck. He literally doesn't do well on supplements. He's better without them. So he's like, what do you mean? I'll take some supplements. What do you got in your pocket there? Somebody asked me on Instagram today, tell the truth, is having two puppies at the same time like a big job? Is it crazy? And it is at times. Mostly it's really amazing, really easy. The hardest part is this. This is the hardest part. So I cleaned. I cleaned today. I swept today. But essentially, our floor looks like this always because of you because of the puppies. Like the puppies are messy. They are messy as heck. Today was super fun because our chicken bubble. told me I needed to diet. Your chicken, did you try and get some chicken and you only got the bone? Sam picked up a chicken and some Caesar salad. I'm so excited, I love me some Caesar salad. Our ride ended up being really fun. We ended up having most of our bubble. Our small little bubble showed up. It was so fun. I feel so sad that I don't have my, I can't bring my horse there. Like she's doing better, but like I said earlier, I think like the last piece of the puzzle that I really have to get fixed besides her eye, which I didn't pull in the vet, is that I need to figure out why she's scared of other horses and why she doesn't want to be around them. But I want to be there like, oh, what a good riding, you guys. Sam and I are headed down to put the horses in. Molly's bringing me pylons like a crazy dog. I am frozen. I see my girl standing there though. You coming? She's coming. You coming? Such a good girl. Okay, I have to explain to you guys uh, the trouble with the bedding. I love the bedding for Penny. It's so thick and soft, but unfortunately, Sam doesn't understand how to clean it. And so what ends up happening is that if he comes down on the weekends, which I love, he leaves all the pee, all the pee. So when I came down this morning, on Monday morning, it smelled so bad. Like our barn never smells like pee, it just smells nice. Which our other barn smells nice too. Like the barn that we take our horses to, it smells so beautiful. I want to walk her in. I miss walking my girl in. Come on, we're all getting here, so. Girl, I know they're eating their food. Yeah, I gotta get the cream for you. Our eyes, they're awful. Okay, go ahead. Good girl. I love you, Penny Pickle. Good girl. I'm glad we left your blades on. Oh, there you go. I love that girl so much. Last year, if, oh, I'm sorry. Last year, if you had said, hey, let the, could you lead the horse in? I'd have been like, here, here, Gabby, you do it. But I love it, and the reason why I like leading her in so much, and the reason why I like putting the halter on her and all is because it's like, I mean, she's wonderful, amazing anyways, but the minute you put a halter on her, she becomes like instant ground manners, like, so good and I it impresses me I want to maintain that I'm gonna keep it forever anyways she's in now I'm going back up to the house I'm gonna edit while Sam finishes he like does the water and whatever gets the rest of it done tucks them in kisses them good night and then I go up and edit because lately we've been whoa whoa lately we've been watching Christmas movies at night together and it's just been fun and even Gabby's been watching and you guys all know she's at that age where she's gonna start to separate from us soon and spend more time in her room. But for now, we're really enjoying this Christmas season. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the